Hi there. I hope you had a wonderful lettering year. I know I've had a great time with you in our live sessions, and I'm looking to 2023 with some of the wonderful sessions we're going to have with guest artists and also some community sessions and some portfolio sessions. So I hope you'll join me. In the meantime, I'd like to share with you a couple of cards that I've made these last couple of years around the solstice, and I'll start with last year's card. Here goes. Now, last year's card was a digital card that I did in on my iPad in Adobe Fresco, and I have lots of different layers. I started out with some pictures, um, both that I took and from the internet for just um, some reference, and then I started drawing in the tree and some details around the tree, some uh, pine needles along the bottom. I had several layers of those going and decided to add that this is, in fact, a ponderosa pine. And then started laying in the different pine needles, some details, and even added this fun little sign, free hugs. And then what I did is I turned that into a card, which I no longer have any copies of, but I also made a sticker out of it. And there are some wonderful companies online that you can order stickers from. I've used uh, Sticker Robot, Sticker Mule, those kinds of sticker places, and you can size them up and down. The advantage of working in Fresco, Adobe Fresco, is that it's both vector and raster. I don't know of any other app that can do both. But what's great about vector is I can blow this up the size of a uh, billboard and not lose any detail. And I can go as small as a, you know, a couple inch sticker and still holds a lot of that detail. Now, this year's card was pretty special. And this was inspired um, always by the solstice, but also a card that I received from Carol Dubosh. And um, I just thought it was such a wonderful card. And I've also added a colophon to it. I, um, the colophon pretty much says most of the process, but I'll go into a little bit more detail. But this colophon says, inspired by into intuition for the solstice, originally handwritten in brush letter with a Pintel brush pen, scanned with a Mac and digitally printed on metallic paper, folded and the folded card design is by Carol Dubosh. You can check out a lot of her classes at caroldubosh.com. Cut and scored with my Cricut. So I did have to create these digital files in order to cut and score with the Cricut and then folded and lovingly hand assembled by me. And so what this is, is a card that if you receive this in the mail, you can just unfold it like this. And I originally wrote on some pretty, um, I would say it wasn't watercolor paper, but it had some tooth to it with a Pintel color brush black. And it says, little by little, as you left, as you left their voices behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds and there was a new voice, which you slowly recognize as your own, Mary Oliver. And I just love the idea of stars. And if you celebrate the solstice, you know that we have three long nights, three long nights of um, darkness. And it's a wonderful time to do your best solstice seed planning and work for the next year. And then, of course, because I printed on the silver side, I could write on the back side and um, it says, may your heart and intuition always lead. So those are my two cards for this for last year and this year. I hope you find it inspiring. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the chat. I'd be happy to guide you to any resources if you want to make something like this. I hope you'll join me in 2023 as we dive into books and dive into more community and portfolio sharing and some of the projects that we're working on so that we can keep each other inspired. See you next year.